What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are talking about how to use these different sized compartments in Clash of Clans. This applies to any town hall level where you're building bases. So I'm gonna break down each sized compartment, talk about where it should be on your base, what types of defenses you should put in it, and what the strengths and weaknesses of it are. I love making these kind of general base building videos for you guys. Um, a few definitions. I'm going to call this a 3x3 three three compartment. Some might call it a 5x5. Five five. I like to define it by the inner uh, the inner area, not the total area of all the walls. So this is a 3x3 three three, and this one over here is going to be a 3x7. Um, so let's take a look at how some of these compartments are used. So starting with this 3x3 three three, guys, um, I don't recommend using it a lot. It takes up a lot of walls if you have a bunch of these compartments like this, but there is a place and a time and there's a couple uh, key locations I like using it. Um, one thing, this is for Town Hall 12s and 13s, a little bit specific, but if you have your Town Hall a little bit towards the outside, which is kind of a, a common thing to do with just some um, some walls kind of hanging out there to, to guard it a little bit from the queen and the kind of Sui heroes. A good thing to do is have your clan castle or a similar building in a 3x3 uh, three three compartment right up against the town hall. It makes it difficult to enter past the town hall. This compartment does a good job kind of scattering troops. Just even if they jump over it, it still has that effect. So I like using it um, right next to the town hall if there's gonna be a P.E.K.K.A. or a Yeti smash entry. So a few other ways you can use this at any town hall level, guys. Put it right in the middle of your base, having it connect a bunch of different big compartments together. So you can see here, there's in theory four different compartments, one here, one here, one here, and then one down here. And basically what it's doing is it's making it difficult to have a uh, queen charge through the base or some kind of big push through the base because if you put a jump spell on here, you're opening up the entire base, which is actually too much. Um, for uh, spam attacks, uh, ground attacks that is, the attacker wants to move the troops through the base in a pretty ordered manner and kind of tightly through the base. They don't want their troops spreading out a lot. That way the spells won't be used as effectively. So if you put the CC right in the middle and have it connect to a bunch of different compartments, it doesn't have to be the clan castle even, but any building just in this 3x3 three three right in the middle, it makes it kind of a dilemma for the attacker because if they use that jump, all they can really do is open up the entire base, which is almost too much. And if they don't use anything, then they're stuck in whatever compartment they're actually in. Um, so that's kind of a sneaky way to use it. One final thing is you can put it in the middle of a bigger compartment like this, and it's gonna make troops path around it weird. Um, no one's gonna really drop a jump just to get over this compartment. Um, but if you know troops are entering like this or like that, um, they're gonna split, which is gonna make it difficult because they're gonna get outside of the rage or the heal or whatever spells are being used on them. Um, so you can put it in the middle of a big compartment and force some awkward splits for the troops. Okay, so coming back to a slightly bigger compartment, um, this one is the typical Inferno Island. It's a six by six compartment. Guys, I made an entire video on how to place your Inferno Towers in compartments in some very popular and effective types of Inferno Tower compartments. I'll link that video uh, right now on the screen. So check that out for more details. That's a good way to use the six by six. You can make a seven by seven with an expo and air defense, uh, air defense at Town Hall nine, especially um, up at Town Hall 13, you can put a scatter shot in here. What this does is it makes it awkward for queen charges for uh, basically almost any attack, even dragons, uh, Yeti smash, whatever the attacker is using. Uh, hybrid as well. It it makes it difficult because it really spreads out the defenses and if you put a high hit point defense in here, troops might get stuck on it, especially if it's hogs, for a little longer than usual. But if they heal over that, they're not going to get a lot of value. Good place to put a skeleton trap here as well or even a tornado. Um, so it really helps spread out the value defensively on the base. And if you typically don't have a lot of DPS on one side of your base, this is a good way to make it not as vulnerable to a queen charge or to some other type of exploitation. Even if there's not a ton of DPS, if all your infernos are on the opposite side, you can still uh, get away with having a, a part of your base hold up well by using this with an expo, scattershot, etc. Uh, so I really like that one as well. Okay, moving over, this is a pretty uh, common one. This is also seven by seven, but we're putting four uh, buildings in it instead of just that one. This is gonna be kind of a typical building block uh, type uh, compartment. One of the benefits is the queen being on the outside of any one side 
can't reach the two buildings uh, farthest away from her. So it's a good one to kind of build up with if you um, just need to start placing compartments because it's good against queen charges. Um, now if the queen is able to get inside the compartment, you want to be a little more worried because she can reach quite a bit. It's also a pretty good spell for an attacker to kind of do a mass push through because the troops won't spread out too much, uh, but they can still reach quite a bit typically. Um, now one thing, this is kind of a pro tip, it's pretty good anti-hybrid. I only have a couple walls, let me steal some walls from there, we're done with that anyway. Um, this is a pro tip guys, you can put um, this little five piece wall thing in the middle if you have extra walls. And this will help direct troops to your spring traps um, if you put them between defenses like that. You'll definitely get more troops uh, and have a higher chance of, of getting more troops taken out with your springs by doing that little thing in the middle. So I recommend that if you have the extra walls. Um, now this next one is, if just looking at one of these, it's that typical 3x7, great compartment, very versatile. And if you don't have an Inferno Tower nearby and you're still trying to make it difficult to do a Queen Charge or something, great place to put air defenses because it's tricky. You keep them, you know, two of these compartments separated, um, or one compartment between them, and it can make it very tricky to, uh, to Queen Charge with the air defenses like that. You can also put spring traps um, in between buildings as well. Um, so overall, I think this is a pretty versatile compartment. The only thing I wouldn't do is don't put it very close to the core because it's very easy to direct troops through since it's pretty small. One jump spell, um, if it's leading to the core, can make it easy for troops to kind of push through that, stay tightly together, and make an assault on the core. So be careful, keep it towards the outside of your base. Um, this is a better compartment to have close to the core because it's more wide. It allows troops to kind of wander off, which is what you want if someone's trying to push deep inside your base. Uh, if it's towards the outside, you can even get rid of some of these walls and just use like pieces or like a strip of walls on the outside. Kind of like what we're doing here with the town hall. You guys have seen a bunch of bases like that. Um, it makes it even harder uh, to keep troops going into the base because these extra walls aren't going to guide them in. Uh, but you can also complete the compartment as well, up to you, depends on the base. Um, but these are also versatile and I'd recommend using them uh, both towards the middle of your base and more towards the outside. Just don't let someone have a nice queen walk with a bunch of value um, because there's nothing stopping the queen from just walking through this compartment. So just be aware of that. You can use an extra dead space as well um, and it doesn't take up a lot of walls, which is nice if you don't have a big wall budget for that part of the base. Okay, one bonus compartment, guys. Before we wrap up this video, I wanted to show it. Um, this is a nice little compartment that you can put your eagle or town hall on the inside. I'd say even more so the town hall if you're a town hall 12 or 13. And um, the queen cannot reach the town hall from outside this compartment. So if you put it right in the middle, it's a pretty good anti-two style. Then you can have a bunch of rings around it. Classic ring base, but this is the type of compartment you want in the middle. And then you can just put defenses in pairs around it like this. And what's gonna happen typically, whether it's bowlers, bowlers, pekkas, yetis, whatever is pushing through the base, it's gonna take out these, then typically it's gonna go around. It's not gonna take the jump spell or the earthquake, uh, typically, and take out the town hall. So it's another great uh, compartment to use in the middle of your base if you're thinking uh, you want more of an anti-two style base. Um, don't put all defenses in, obviously, fill it in with a few storages or sweepers here and there. Um, but it's a, it's a solid compartment. You can also put your eagle in it as well if you want to experiment with that. Um, so that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, on the right of the screen, you can see my Patreon info if you want to get your own custom war bases. But I encourage you to use these tips to create your own bases if you have the time and are willing to uh, put some investment into building your own base. So good luck with that. Hope these tips helped and use these compartments as best as you can. See you guys next time. Bisectatron out.